good day viewers you are welcome how to solve these functional equations so let's see a solution from here i'm going to be presenting two different methods to solve this and let's see method one so given that f of x plus 2 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. So from here, we are going to consider from this right hand side which is a quadratic and let's try to factorize that one. So here we have f of x plus 2 equals and here is x squared. So we look for two numbers as the sum will give us 3 and the product will give us 2. So here we have product of 2, addition of 2x plus x, then here is plus 2. So let's try to group them. So when we group this one and we group this one, so here we have f of x plus 2 equals, so here becomes x squared plus 2x, so plus x plus 2. So after the successful grouping of this, then we have to factor out what is common from here. As we have f of x plus 2 equals, so what is common here is x. By taking out x, we have this as x plus 2 plus, and also this is x plus 2. As we cannot combine them together, so when we combine them together, we have this as f of x plus 2 equals this is x plus so what we have here is one and here is x plus two so we have factorized this as the quadratic above is given as the two factors which are x plus one and uh, x plus two so the next one is if this is the domain as x plus two and looking at this side, we also have x plus 2, which corresponds to this. But here, it is not yet giving us x plus 2 that we need. So let's see how we can form, manipulate this, just to have x plus 2 as what we have here in the domain. So from here, if I write this as f of x plus 2 equals Suppose what I need is x plus 2, and if I write this as x plus 2, then I have to subtract 1 from here. So if I subtract 1, it means this is still our x plus 1. Then multiply by x plus 2. So after having this, then let's try to replace. Suppose I let our x plus 2, so if I replace this one with, with x, so here we have f of x equals, since instead of this x plus 2, we have to replace it with x, and here gives us minus 1. So here becomes x minus 1, and here is multiplied by x. Then we have f of x equals, when we multiply this out, we have x squared minus x. That is, our f of x is given as x squared minus x. And let's see the second method of solving these functional equations. So, for the second method, we have f of x plus 2 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. So, from here, we are going to let x plus 2, which is this domain, let's say I let this one to be equals t. Then let's make x the subject of the formula here. We have x equals, so we take 2 to this side, and a becomes t minus 2. Then from the given problem, we are going to have f of x plus 2 here, which is becomes our t here. Then we have x squared, which is now our t minus 2. So let's try to replace this x squared. Suppose for the first one, we have our x squared, which is the same thing as t minus 2 squared. And when we try to expand this one, what we have is t minus 2 multiplied by t minus 2. Then let's open this. t multiplied by t, that is t squared minus 
t multiplied by 2, we have minus 2t. Minus 2 multiplied by t, that is minus 2t plus 2 times 2, that is 4. So f from what we have, this is t squared minus minus 2t minus 2t, that is minus 4t plus 4. And also from here, we need 3x. As we have already know our x, so we need to find 3x as well. Our x is 3 minus 2. That is t into bracket of t minus 2. And this gives us 3t minus 6. Why the last one here is a constant value, which is 2. We don't need to replace it with anything. Then let's try to substitute back into this given equations. So our x plus 2 here is just like t equals and x squared here is what we get before, which is t squared minus 4t plus 2. Okay, we have plus 4. And also, we have 3x here. So when we add this together with this, we are going to have this is plus 3t minus 6. Then here is plus 2. So here we have f of t equals t squared, so we have minus 4t and a is plus 3t. So that gives us minus t and we have 4 plus 2 here and that gives us 6. Then 6 minus 6, it becomes plus 0. Then we have f of t equals t squared minus t. And since we are, we, what we need is f of x, so we have to replace, so replacing our t with x. And why we do this is both t and x are members of real number. So we know that both of them are real number, so it is easy for us to switch both and uh, replace it with letter x. So therefore we have f of x equals x squared minus x so we get the same things as the first method that we applied so to have x squared minus x so this is how to solve this problem i hope we learn something thanks for watching and if there is any other method of solving this you can drop it in the comment box and share our opinions see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye